You know when we were in um, Miami recently mm -hmm. and you mm -hmm. did my skin mm -hmm. and everybody was commenting on it because it was like kind of like a Snapchat filter for your face. Yeah. That like, it was really, really, really glowy and amazing. Yeah. Uh -huh. So I was sort of wondering whether you can recreate that and show yeah. me the steps. So yeah, I so can you can do, do it on you. Myself. So I always just want to start a little bit of bioderma on a Q-tip and just go around the eyes and just make sure that there is no makeup buildup from previous. Then I'm going to press some glow Are drops. these the glow drops? Yeah, this is so nice. Um, I love this product. I like to take something sheer kind of everywhere. So this is honestly one of my favorite products to use on you. So this is Glossier's concealer in medium. And this concealer, do you recommend using a brush or you can use fingers or a brush? But sponge. I like, I like yeah, either either. I think like anything full coverage is nice with a sponge because it starts to you know it shears it down and makes it a little bit more do glowy and dewy and fresh. Okay, so always blend down your neck a little bit just to make sure that it connects. Okay, so that's like wow. your first base. And now, that's already so you don't glowing. even really need much more. Now you just need to do a teeny bit of concealer around the nose and the eyes. And, and how much it. How much concealer would you say you use to cover my whole like face? Like a pea-sized. Like a tiny amount. Like though. a pea-sized amount. So then, for a teeny bit more coverage, are these the new Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion? Concealers. Yeah, they're great. And I like to use a fluffy brush like this because this gives you the same effect that, that a finger would. A hard brush like like this, for example, will leave marks and lines. Even though it's great, it's just a, little, a bit trickier. This is easier. And how can you recommend somebody picking their colors? For concealer? For concealer, like online. Like if they're shopping online, how, do, mm -hmm. how can somebody know what color they're getting? Is, is right for them. I mean, it's hard, and I would say the easiest way to do it would honestly be to look at somebody who's a similar color to you in your skin and ask them what they use and really mm -hmm. pick their brains. That's what people ask me. They're like, I'm a similar complexion to you. What color of this should I buy? What color of that should I buy? And I'm like, well, do this. So then what you've got to do is figure out whether there's any shadows on the face. So if there's any shadows on the face creating natural shadows, you want to kind of make sure that you aren't just going to add to that shadow that's, you know, so stay there, that's nice. I want to make sure that you're not going to add to that shadow and then we'll walk out the house and look completely different. Here it is. Draw a little bit if you want to. So then I'm just going to take an eyeshadow brush. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to create a little bit of a shadow, even more, just to intensify the shadows and make it not look like you've just got bronzer everywhere, but that it's, you know. So I always do this every day. Yeah. This is what I do. Whatever bronzer or blusher I put on my Cheek, I always put a little bit onto the eyelid, um, as, and I and I love this because it sort of just pulls all the colours together into mm -hmm. your face, and it makes your eyes pop, gives your eyes some dimension and contour. Mm -hmm. And for me, if I put a little tiny bit of blusher, I would put the. What should I just ruin it all? Blend it. Come on. <laughs> you can do better than that. I believe in you. That's nice. Put the blusher here. Okay. Yeah. Don't press too hard. I take a smaller brush like that and just pick up a little piece, a little bit of, um, and then tap, really tap it away. And then I just pop it onto the brow bone here. So it's just, like, it's ever so slight. You wouldn't even, you would never be able to see it, but it's just to sort of pull the color all in mm -hmm. and it really mm -hmm. gives dimension to the Great. brow. Nice job, Rosie. You're welcome, Katie. It's like we don't need a makeup artist ever in life. Should we do your eyebrows really quick? Yes, please. So, I love you with a fluffy brow, so I always brush them up, almost back home them with a little bit of brow gel. Just a touch. So I'm going to use the Suki brow pen. This is green. So this is really, this is your favorite one that I use on you. Mm -hmm. um, and it's got a greeny hue, which basically means that it'll never go red on the skin. So most brow products, actually the Rosy Photograph pencil is my like other favorite to use on you because mm -hmm. it's ash and it's really hard to find good ash colors. You just flick on little hair strokes. Yeah, that's really all it needs. Okay, so if you've got dry lips ever, don't try and scrub them with sugar and salt or no. lip scrubs, it's the worst thing. This is Bioderma on a Q-tip. You do it. Just really buff at them. Those lip scrubs, I find, are so abrasive. They don't do anything. They just and move they it around. they don't do anything. At all. So 
then I'm going to use a bit of Rose with Autograph lipstick, just a really pretty neutral. Just to make this lipstick the truest colour that it is, I'm just going to press a teensy bit into the just around the edges of the mouth, mm -hmm. just to pull the edges back because it makes it more pouty. I knew you could do that. I'm not really. such a child. And then I'm just going to like press it a little bit outside the lip line, but not really. And I'm going to leave a little bit of that natural colour on the edge. And then we're done. And then you can mess if you want to, but you don't really need to. So where would you recommend this is like a good, this is like a good everyday makeup? This is a good everyday makeup when you want to feel polished. It literally would take you no longer than 10 minutes mm -hmm. if you, you know, had all your products out and laid mm -hmm. out. And I think that's a step for success as well. Is like if you're busy and you're a working mom like you, and you've got a little boy, mm -hmm. you're always traveling, you're always on the go, have like your stuff laid out like the night before you go to bed and have like, you know, your lipstick out that you want to wear or, you know, an yeah. idea. And then you'll like fly through it. I always find morning. when I like just take the time at the beginning mm -hmm. of my makeup process to pull out products yep. that I want to use. Like mm -hmm. it's the five products, the eight products I want to use and I put them in order. Mm -hmm. It's so much more, I don't know why, I just feel yeah. like you've got a plan, like, you know where you're going. When you travel, if your bedroom is a mess, can you pack? No. I mean, same with me. Yeah. You, it's like you can't see what you need to pack. Yeah. So you won't be able to see what you actually need to do if you can't see stuff in order. Whether it's in, it doesn't have to be in like order, order, but you know. Well, this looks great. Yeah. I'm glad you taught me how to do it. Do you have any questions? No questions. I asked them all whilst you're doing it. Wow. <laughs>